Hi, welcome to On The Button Boxing. Tonight I'd like to talk about the difference between an arm punch and punching by putting your hip behind a punch. Often I hear people complain about shoulder pain, and tightness in the joint, they can't work out for a couple days after they've hit the punching bag, stri uh, striking the punch mitts, or even sparring. And I noticed they are throwing a lot of arm punches. Pretty much that's it, arm punches. Not when any snap, just putting. And when you throw an arm punch, all the strain from the force of the punch is absorbed by your shoulder and your arms. That's why it hurts so much. So what you need to do is share some of that strain with other parts of your body, like the hip, your knee, your back. So when we throw an arm punch, when you, I see people in this position here, and they're coming out here like this. It's on the arm. You really can't get any snap on a punch because you, you don't have the turn in your hips. So they're kind of pushing it. When you hit and push, that's always going to hurt your joints. Same thing here with the hook. The body shot, the drop in the right hand, and then pushing out like this. Even the jab is down like this. Uppercuts. You can easily tell it's an arm punch. What we want to do when we do punch, so we don't have that pain in our shoulder, is let the hip lead the way, like we talked about. I'm going to get back on our stance. A little tired in the legs, so I'm going to jump back in. Here we are. Front foot flat, back foot a little on the heel. I'm doing here. You know, I'm going to let this hip lead the way, if you remember. At a full extension of this right hand to the body. What's behind that punch? What's behind my elbow? My hip. You can see it. That's proven that this whole half of my body is behind the punch. Here. Not out here like this. Same thing with the hook. Going back. What's behind? The hip is behind the elbow. It's right within a, this area here. That's showing that I'm hitting with my body. I'm hitting my hip. So the stress of that punch is all going to be distributed evenly through there. It's not going to be a push. It's going to be a whip right over. So there's going to be no strain in that. Same thing with the jab. Elbow with behind my hip. The uppercut. Same thing here. Whenever you feel your arm out here, you know, you know at that point, this is not a body punch with your hips. So by doing this, you're not only you're going to get 100% potential out of your punch, but you're not going to hurt yourself either. Right hand, hook, uppercut, see what's behind it. The hips lead the way. And the arm follows. But those hip exercises are always beneficial. So that's what I want to talk about tonight. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section of my YouTube channel. On a button boxing with Uncle Robert.